Remember, if you don't change the stimulus, the body won't change itself. You can't play the P90X DVD for the 700th time and expect something different to happen. You gotta go heavier, rest less, move quicker, go more. Something to challenge the body, baby steps every single day to get better. Welcome back to the seventh afterburner workout. Today we are changing the stimulus by going with one heavy dumbbell instead of averaging out for two light dumbbells. So blow the dust off something heavier today. We're gonna change the stimulus by working with one arm, struggling with lower volume, getting uncomfortable and breaking out of those plateau ranges that you're always used to doing the same workouts with the same weights over and over and over again. We're just gonna wake up the body and challenge it. So there'll be a lot of grunting, a lot of suffering noises, uh, and perhaps a lot of swearing. We are doing our standard 15 exercise list that most mimics the workout number two. So if you're stuck with two dumbbells today, you can just get by the same. If you don't have a light dumbbell, it's only one, then you're gonna do a lot more reps than I will over here. It's all relative to you and to me. No worries. We have a minute each exercise, no transitions like we always do. There's no time for that with a 15 minute workout. And tactics might just be one rep, switch arm, one rep, switch arm. You might be able to go 30 seconds and 30 seconds. You decide, see how heavy these moves feel with the one dumbbell that's been sitting in your corner collecting dust you haven't used it very often. So let's just get after this. It's a very similar list to that second workout. A few things changed and that's the gist. You are pro, you know this is a full body 15 minute blast. So you're getting warmed up for that. Get all your joints prepped, moved and ready to go or you're coming from some other shorter workout and pairing this on the end so I should stop talking and just let you get after it. Okay, so without further delay, we're gonna cut, drop the camera, it's that 10 second lead in and we go to get uncomfortable today with one heavier weight. Let's do it. Okay, we're almost ready to go. Hairy, scary dumbbell out in front of us. Remember, if you don't change the stimulus, the body won't change itself. You can't play the P90X DVD for the 700th time and expect something different to happen. You gotta go heavier, rest less, move quicker, go more. Something to challenge the body, baby steps every single day to get better. The list is on the side. We've seen it before. Most of these moves, nothing is new. We're gonna start with strict press. That can turn into a push press if you need to. I'm gonna to try to go 30 seconds aside, but it might have to be more frequent switches depending on the weight we're using. Here we go. Get your dumbbells up. Dumbbell up. 10 second lead in. Single arm press. Left and right as many times as you need to change. 15 minutes non-stop starts now. Ugh. Brace, lock the body up statue. And know if you've got a stronger side, you got to match with the weaker side. So don't do too many. I'm gonna switch. This is how it works today. One, two, whoa. All right. Way more slower moving. Four. I'm gonna try to stay strict. Switch it back. Even two, three, four reps is good. That's still fine for weightlifting. Doesn't have to be these high volume, 10, 15, 20 rep circuits all the time. And after this, it's clean press coming up. One more. Back to first hand. Clean up the body. I'm gonna push press, down, drop, load with the leg. Whew. Turn side profile for you. Switch side. If you're breezing through this and you realize you don't have heavier dumbbells, might be a good time to treat yourself to a new set. Going back, try four. We just gotta keep this heavy beast moving. Still perfect form, tons of body tension. Okay, if you need to, goblet grip splits the weight. 
I'm gonna try to hold to one side. Squats, you can see it on the list. Take a peek before the minute's up. Uh. Ooh. 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 Halfway. Oh. Most of the weight wants to stick to that one side. So you're going to feel one leg working harder than the other. Oh. I'm going to try to go four on this side. Make it uncomfortable. Oh, thrusters are next. Back to first hand. Load it up like a spring. Drive overhead. Definitely not doing 30 seconds on each side. Switch the side. Switch. Wow. Press. If you're not making these noises, it's probably not heavy enough. Oh. More like down to ground. Oh, shake it out. Bent over row. First side, brace on the knee. A nice slow tempo now. This should be one of the stronger moves. Dead flat, straight back. I'll go 30 seconds. Oh. Switch inside. And then reverse lunges after this. Twelve seconds. Keep that back laser straight, coffee table. Uh, and picking it up, first side, inside leg, reverse lunge, up, reverse lunge up, you can alternate legs, but it's always more comfortable when the same leg goes back, this puts you a little off balance. I guess you're averaging out the two legs if you alternate. This is just smoking the front leg. I'm gonna switch. Ooh. 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 Next move is devil press. So we gotta know how to do that powerful dumbbell snatch. Ooh. And there's no fooling around half speed with a heavy dumbbell. You're gonna pull right up the body. It's not a kettlebell swing snatch, it's gonna be a high pull snatch. Oh. Okay, double press, just like I'm doing with two dumbbells. I'm gonna go down to the floor. No push up, just worm up into my whew, single arm snatch position. Down, worm, whew. take a breather down here. Up, right up, boom. I'll go half and half. That's already half. Next side. Right up and down. Full body. One more. Yeah. 
Good, then we're down to ground, plank pass through. So reach for the dumbbell. Oh, strong brace, reach, pass across. Reach, pass. See if you can catch some breath here. You're in a war. Core is in a war. Do not, do not slouch the core. Where are we? 22 seconds. We're doing floor press next with the dumbbell. If your dumbbell's not heavy enough, just do a minute of push ups. Okay, just flip onto your back. Also, maybe a rest position and just crank floor press reps. Uh, not so easy after the plank position. Ooh. Ooh, you get a nice 90 degree position, half rep range of motion. Uh, and ooh. carefully switch side. I'm on my buckle, of course. Uh, dumbbells up. Uh, ooh, lots of reps here, lots of reps. Same leg is digging into floor to prevent you from spinning. Other hand makes a strong fist, of course. Uh, ooh, and then we're into jump squat. Up, 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 up. Oh, my mic. Technical difficulties. Oh no. <sighs> Jump squat. So holding like so if we need to, or with a single hand in between or on one side. I'm going to go in between. <sighs> 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 That cost me dearly. Stupid design. Stupid. Next. Arm. <sighs> Renegade rows after this. Oh, there's my first real flush burn. Uh, down to ground. It's gonna be single arm, renegade rowing. So tall plank position again, row down. I'll do five each side. What do we have after that? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm regretting the next one. Bicep curl. Two, three, four. Kind of a partial depth. I'm not getting full extension here. Oh. Bicep curl, single arm. And then we need our mat for core right after this. It's gonna be a little bit of a swing curl. Oh. Oh, my arms. Four reps aside. More. More. Try to keep the dumbbell off the ground. Don't put it down. If 
And now you know if your dumbbell is too light or too heavy. Ah, ah crap. Get your mat. Okay, we're into weighted candlestick. Not gonna crush the mic here. Dumbbell is in the goblet grip. That's just our anchor. And we're kicking the feet right up. Dumbbell can be just past your, your eyebrows. You can go nice and slow, nice and quick. We don't have to hit the ground. Keep that dumbbell just past the eyebrows. And then we get to stand for our favorite suitcase crunch and we can catch our breath. Before the super burpee, which of course is last. Okay, dumbbell safely down. Standing up with feet together. Feet right together. A little bit of a dip, lots of crunch up. Don't worry about how far down you go, crunch up. Feel the obliques and transverse abdominus muscles working here. And we're gonna go 30 seconds aside. This is easy. One more rep. Switch it. And then it's a single dumbbell super burpee coming up. Whoa. Feel it right here. Right there, karate chop. And then the last, last exercise. Okay, here we go. Sumo jump squat. One. Lunge. Lunge will be the same side. Down. Push up. Row. Second push up. Row opposite side. We come up this side. That's your jump squat. Lunge, dumbbell to the outside of the body. Lunge, down, push up, row, push up, row. I'm in the rack, I'm hitting the rack. Jump squat, switch dumbbell to the other side. Let's walk the lunges. After burners are on, push up. Row, push up, row, oh, jump, switch the dumbbell, one, done, ah, oh, catch my breath, I'm going to call a timeout, I'll go get Bruce, and we'll bring Bruce in, Face the camera, face the cam. There you go. There's Bruce. All right, so for Bruce and I, thanks for doing the workout. Keep score, keep kind of how you felt in memory, write it down, come back to this a month from now, he's gone. Like, subscribe and share, send it around to people you know you want to challenge or do better with, whatever it is. I'll see you back for the eighth.